Praise for the White House. President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden now await the results and the possibility that a winner may not be decided tonight. Channel 2's Andy Sirota live in the newsroom with more on this story. Andy. Keith, good afternoon. After an unprecedented campaign, at times bitter and bruising, it all comes down to today and the tens of millions of Americans having their final say at the polls. At the end of a long road, the finish line is in sight, and the power to decide is in the hands of voters. It's a relief. <laughs> now we just have to wait for the outcome. With nearly 100 million ballots cast early, final totals are set to smash records. There's nothing like election. Democrat Joe Biden starting his day with reflection, going to church and visiting his son Beau's gravesite. President Trump thanking campaign staff at his headquarters in Virginia, saying he hasn't yet thought about an acceptance or a concession speech. Winning is easy. Losing is never easy. Not for me, it's not. Biden back in critical battleground Pennsylvania in Philadelphia saying voter turnout gives him confidence. We're going to win Pennsylvania because of you. That after visiting his childhood home in Scranton, riding on the wall from this house to the White House with the grace of God. President Trump insisting we should know the results tonight, despite several states warning it will take days to tally up all the votes. You have to have numbers. You can't have these things delayed for many days and maybe weeks. You can't do that. The whole world is waiting. Voters anxious for a resolution. No, I think it's been really stressful for, for me, for everybody. I hope that we kind of transition to a better point moving forward. Election officials urging patience, calm, and faith every vote will count. While Joe Biden is watching the results in Delaware tonight, President Trump is at the White House with 300 to 400 guests gathering for an event in the East Room. Everyone will be COVID tested before entering. Keith. All right.